Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning in my dashboard planner for the week of January 29th through February 4th, and I'm going to be going in with a new, new to me sticker book. I have yet to use this Nordic Brights sticker book, and if you know me, it's definitely not something that I would normally gravitate to. The only reason I bought it was because it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and um, I thought this would be fun to kind of challenge myself with, um, with all of these bright colors and designs. Definitely not something I gravitate, gravitate towards too, but I think the designs are really pretty and it'd be fun to see what I can make with it. So with all the bright colors, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of tone it down or like ground it with some black washi, some bold washi. So I got these two. I have more that I can choose from, but I wasn't sure kind of what vibe I was going for or what would fit better in here. So we have some choices to work with here. So what I want to start with is there is a, I thought there was a really long box or maybe I was mis. Taken. Oh, here it is. Right in the second page. Really long box to start with, and this could be my grocery list for the week. Again, I don't know what happened to my, my whiteout that I normally use, but we're just going to ignore the words that are popping up behind the sticker this week. So, let's lay this one down first good way to start off and let's see what washi tape do I want to use I'm trying to see which one would kind of look best with the designs so not this one. I like these three. I'm not sure. Let's see. Which one? Don't think I want to do this one. I don't like the vertical lines of it for this spread. So we're going to X that one out. And then, kind of like this one because it's fun and light and not as bold. But then I was going for like a bold black. So, let's switch it up. I'm going to do something I probably normally wouldn't have done and go with this one. I don't think I've used this washi tape before, but... We're going to do it today. There was some full boxes we could choose. I also like these full boxes to kind of fill in some space as well. Let's see. Carefully take that off. And I want to layer this off of this box. So like that maybe. And of course there's some coming out, but we're going to figure out a way to go around that. Before I lay this down, I'm just going to trim off that edge so it's not so straight. There we go. And place this under here. Go a little bit higher. I'm not sure how far I want to take that out yet, but I'm going to leave that for yeah. now. And I'm not sure if I'm going to end up covering this up with anything, so I'm going to try to cover it up as much as I can with this white gel pen. Oh, 
Okay, so we have that done so far. I want to do something up in this corner. Well, we had other colors to choose from. How did I miss these? I already have those down, so we're just going to stay with that. I could put one of these over that. But I kind of like the look of this one. We got butterflies. Cute. Okay. Let's see what else there is. While I'm looking at the quotes, I can figure out a quote that I can use to decorate this spot with. And I also need to white out these days of the week so they are not in the way. Okay. And now there's like two pages of quotes. I think they're different, kind of. We'll go with these because they don't have the gold foil on them. I kind of like this one because it's simple and then I can add stuff around it. Let's do this one. Okay. I'm going to start back at the front. And I kind of wanted to do some sort of cluster, like a big cluster on this side with stickers. So I want to start off with one of these boxes. Let me make sure there's no other colors of them before I choose one of these. We have blue, green. Could use these two. What color? Lean towards this one or this one? Kind of like the yellow too. Let's just go with it. Okay. All right. We're just gonna lay it down and then start creating around it. So I have. This is going to be a big cluster, and while I'm on this page, I want to put some bullet points on Monday because I know the cluster is not going to make its way all the way to Monday. Okay. Kind of want to add one of these. To put that one off to the side. Let me take out this greenish color. Let's grab one of these. Where are my scissors? Okay. I want to trim off the top. And place it over here just for some extra decor in this box. We have the decorations. Here's some normal boxes. I'm 
I'm not used to the sticker book or familiar with it, so I'm not sure if I'm missing anything or passing it up. But I want to do something similar over here with what I did on this side. So... I want to add some washi tape around just to make this more balanced with the black. And how about down here in this corner? Okay. Oh, idea. Uh-oh. I want to make this washi tape a little longer, so I'm going to take it off and grab another piece. Do it a little bit higher. And then I want to place this one right over it and then layer a box or two over that. I'm not sold on it yet so I'm not going to press it down. Some fun layering there. Let's grab another box to put on this side. I don't know if I want to do a whole other square. I wish, I don't think there's any other sizes. I have some circles. That might be fun to include. Question is what color? We haven't added any of that blue in yet so let's grab this one and then I think I'm going to raise this up to the top of this box and then we're going to lift the washi tape up. So let's put it right here. I feel like I might need a slightly longer piece of washi. I'm not sure about that big circle. I wish it was slightly smaller. But... Oh look, we have this. Or these. But I'm not sure about these either. Let's try It's an interesting cluster, not my favorite, not my best, but I don't mind it. Okay, so looking here now, we have something for Monday. This is open for Tuesday. We also could use that for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Need something. I'm figuring I can put some bullet points at the bottom of that box. So let's find the bullet points. I want to do some here just to fill in this gap. And then let's do two there. What colors? We already have yellow. Maybe this hot pink. Okay. 
Okay, and then some right here. And then we'll figure out something for Sunday. We also need to put some decorations around that quote. So let's see what we got going on. I think it's definitely interesting so far, but let's see how it comes together before I judge it too much. I'm just going to fully flip through this book and just add what I think could work. I want a box to put on this side. Um, I want to do something similar with this over here. But I'm not sure. Like, I wish I could use these boxes, but I feel like it's going to be a lot of sticker surgery to kind of cover this part up. We do need something down here, too, so I don't know. Maybe I could put it under this box and lift up this bunny. So, let's see. I'm going to cut this washi tape so I can go, where did I just cut that at? Right here. So I can go around the other side of the box and not be seen under this yellow one. Let's put that off to the side and then let's try and Scoot this one in here as best as we can. As straight as we can, at least. Oops. I think I almost had it. Then I second-guessed myself. I'm hoping that's straight. Nope. Almost. I lost track of where I was. You know, I'm just going to lay it down. Come on. I think this is going to do it. going to be good enough. Okay. Now I want this washi tape to come out on the other side. There we go. Let's add this rabbit on top of it. Okay, I feel like that was a good way to kind of fill in some space at the bottom. Now, still need to figure out what we're doing up there, but I feel it will come to me once I see the right sticker. Oh, we have these size boxes I could have used for like right here. Let's see, I don't know what other color I'd want to put over there. put this one here for now. We'll add some more stuff. I like some of these. Let's layer this one down here. Okay, still need to do that. I 
Okay. These all have gold foil. Let's put that one there. I'm going to trim this one flat and kind of lay it on top of this box. Hopefully you can see the words or the letters on top of it. I also need to take up this bullet point. I don't know if you can still read it as well, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put that bullet point back. Let's add some more little designs I can eat something at the bottom here I have tiny little stars right there and still feel like it's kind of empty like this little dragonfly these butterflies are really cute I'm just gonna add some around the page put you over here Okay, still need to do something there. Maybe I'll just put bullet points. Not exactly sure how I want to play that little section out because I feel like if I put another box now, it's just going to be really um, really cluttered. So I'm going to find a header to put there and then we'll put bullet points. Meeting appointment tasks. There we go. We can just use one of these. Let's do a red and then bullet points what color bullet points should we just mix them up I think I'm just going to do these. Okay. I want to go back to the little decoration page. See if there's anything else we can just splatter in here. Have another dragonfly. Okay. 
I like this guy. And right there. Okay, I think I am good. Oh, I forgot this dude. Guess we'll just layer him right there like we've layered everything else. Okay, so this is it for my spread today. It's definitely different, funky. I think it turned out cute though. I definitely not used to all the colors, but there's nothing wrong with a colorful, fun spread. And I used a new sticker book for the first time, so that was fun. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. Please like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!